Hello you wonderful beings. Today I want to share um, an actual tutorial with you. Usually I only talk about the painting process and this is one of the first and probably one of the few times where I actually talk about the program and in this case it's Photoshop. I won't be able to do this particular tutorial without referring to my other videos where I really having a more in-depth look about how noise and especially a visual noise is influencing the the overall look of the picture and how to how you can use it for your I would say benefit and how to make your pictures look more interesting if you properly put it into use so I will start with the simple brush that we have in Photoshop. It's very important to to understand how the brush is actually working by itself. And that doesn't mean you have to be a coder or a programmer or something like that. But it might be necessary that you have at least a basic understanding of how the brush behaves when you're painting. And therefore it's very important to know that the shape of the brush as soon as it is selected is a fixed one and it's only differing in transparency position and size so there are actually other programs and uh, very wonderful experimental programs that you should definitely check out as a if you would call yourself a digital artist to, to broaden your spectrum that include multiple shapes that means the shape is not fixed and when you do a brush strokes there are multiple shapes appearing within one brush one of their programs for example is called alchemy a wonderful tool i can really recommend now going back to photoshop it is very essential to have a certain set of brushes that you understand very well if you are a traditional painter you also have a set of brushes that, that you're very used to that you use every day and that you built in your workflow so in this case you would simply have a set of maybe let's not take a number but the less brushes you use the more you can perfect them so it's really easy to to keep the number of brushes as low as possible uh, and of course there might be other opinions on that when we move on to the next step now we arrive at the mixer brush and the mixer brush is simply the same thing as the brush when it comes to the shape and the overall behavior except for the colors because the mixer brush is actually copying and saving a whole section of whatever area of the picture you picked. It's basically a tool that is making a small screen grab, if you will, that is actually duplicating the screen grab while you're doing the stroke. And as soon as you have an understanding of that, you can go even a little bit deeper into this analysis and see how is the brush behaving when it comes to the scale. Now the brush in this situation is behaving as something which you would describe in other programs or even in some parts of Photoshop as a mask. So it is masking that part of the image that you previously picked with the color picker. Now there's a function where you can set your mixer brush to either solid color or the option where you integrate the complete section of the picture. That means when you pick a brush with pressure sensitivity, you will see that the harder you press, the more you will see of the previously picked section of the picture. So it's a mask of the same shape of the brush that is simply getting bigger and 
once you have a basic understanding of that, you can use it for all kinds of funny things like fruits or vegetables. <laughs> so that is what comes into my mind. So um, it might be very good from that point if you go all the way back people of the younger generations might not like to hear that but it might be good to go all the way back to traditional painting because there is oftentimes something that we can describe from a digital point of view as noise and this noise is something that is very essential when it comes to organic structures or shapes and colors that contain rhythm or patterns because these structures and these patterns are giving the eye more reference points to interact with and you might achieve much more interesting results when implementing this in your drawing technique. In the traditional paintings you would simply have noise because you mixed your color on a palette and used it over and over again so other colors are influencing the stroke although your eye picked only one color. And the more you repeat that, the more I would even go so far as to say, the more you play a song with your brush. And it's much easier for the eye to follow that. Um, yeah, that's that's actually the, the whole magic behind it. And if you apply it right, you can achieve great results, hopefully. And I also have some other announcements to make that I will... Um, open new Patreon categories where I offer paintovers. Um, as soon as there are more patrons, I will randomly select one and um, yeah, basically offer the option to do a paintover of any picture that you want. So many, many thanks for the support so far. It's just amazing how it's growing right now and um, thanks for tuning in. Much love.